Hey, exciting video for today. I go down and check out a flea market in Massachusetts. I'm staying in uh, Dover, New Hampshire, so I got a, I'm nearby all these great flea markets. So today I go check out one in Massachusetts. Let's, let's dive right in. My first time at this flea market, got there a little bit after 5 a.m. People were still setting up, a lot of action. People were running around. Dealers who were gonna set up later were running around. And of course, all the normal dealers and high-end collectors trying to get all the good buys first. The market was very spread out. Especially since we got there so early, there weren't as many vendors quite set up yet. This is actually a little bit later in the morning. These people, most people just sort of threw the stuff on the ground. Um, unpriced, of course. Some vendors had prices. Most did not. Trying to figure out, you know, what to buy. Sometimes it's hard because I don't know if I want to ask the price on something. Watch out for that poison ivy. Stumps? Who knew? Yeah, a lot of stuff just sort of thrown out. People setting up, some people setting up a little more professional in tents. It was a really warm day. No pets allowed, which makes sense, um, especially people would do stupid stuff like leaving the car. Video games, always video games. Foreshadowing. I really love this artwork. Really love this artwork. Didn't buy any of it, all by the same artist. Hey, early DVDs. <laughs> I've never made money on trucker hats, but I know someone who has, but I didn't buy these, didn't price them. It got more crowded as the day went on, of course, like any flea market, but. Still fairly spread out. Uh, a lot of walking, like all flea markets. Mid-century modern, Lucite. Here I am in action, trying to figure some stuff out. What to price, what to find. Pretty cool place. A good mix of early stuff and newer stuff and everything in between. Not a lot of junk. I didn't see anyone selling like clothes or anything like that. No tube socks. G.I. Joe guy had a box of G.I. Joes I should have bought for 50 that I didn't. Breakfast of Champions. Oh. Not for the faint of heart. Up at uh, up at three o'clock this morning, three thirty or so, I guess. It's hot out here. It's, it's only seven, like ten, but it's already hot out here. It's sweaty. Um, you gotta pay overpay for food. Although the food here was fairly reasonable, we did have to buy coffee because somehow we were out of coffee. But so yeah, no, it's hot, sweaty. There's, there's baby powder situation. Heat rash affects millions of men and it's not discussed enough in this country. Foreshadowing, I really like this sign. Really like those art squeegee boards. They were five each. Could have made a cool wall of them. These things, I see them everywhere and love them. So kitschy. Sorry, I did a really poor job of sort of filming as I bought because it was a little hectic with everyone running around. I didn't want to take out my camera and miss something. I'm also always leery of dealers sees you film something. They get either mad at you for filming or they think that you're about to buy something great or just bought something great. So I don't always catch the stuff in action on the dealer's table. I try to as much as possible, but just impossible this morning, so. Okay, my purchases from Todd's Flea Market all together. Everything I got, it was a 45 minute drive, so I think a worthwhile load. The first thing I bought was this red, red painted measure with the initials of the person. I need to clean that a little bit. It's really dirty. I think if I just do a light clean, the red will show up a little better, but nice red paint, uh, all original. Same vendor, I paid 40 for that. Same vendor had, cool football. Same vendor had this cool football. I don't, I didn't figure out, I didn't look up West Raiders yet to see what city that is, but it's 1974, kind of cool paint. Um, later I bought the skull. This was actually my most expensive item at 45. It's got a nice look, probably good for the Brimfield booth. This was buried, my girlfriend actually pointed it out to me. I had a hell of a time, it was stuck at the bottom of the box. The neat little double-headed dog, folk art. Uh, oldest thing I bought, petrified shell, mounted. $15, not bad. Cool thing. Neat jug, nice form, nice nice little, little form to that. This, this was 40, Beano. Allegedly, uh, it's from Maine, or has the Maine poster in it. But the idea was that bingo was illegal in Maine, so they played Beano instead. I haven't done any research on it. Nice, nice surface to it. So yeah, I think a worthwhile load. Um, turns out I'm not sure that Beano was actually a substitute for bingo, so much as just a different game, but still 1920s to 1940s, really cool sign. 
$170, I guess, for everything. $170 for it all. So not a bad, bad day. So yeah, those were my purchases. I think a very good day. I have already flipped the red measure, the redware flask, and the dog, uh, double-headed dog piece. And I've already made, I don't know, 100 bucks over the cost of the entire load, maybe 150 over the cost of the entire load. The redware flask, those things were just, some of those things were just very cheap. So uh, the skull, my most expensive buy, the shell, they have definitely have money left in them. On the skull, I don't think it's very old, but it has a great, great look. So I don't know, the football, the football might have to go on eBay. I did look it up. It looks like it's from Boston. So, which makes sense from, I was pretty close to Boston, but uh really cool decorative piece perfect for uh, perfect for like a showcase or something a uh, sports bar i don't know i'll just put that on ebay since it has some local interest it should sell and that sign i love that sign the you know sign yeah definitely not um doesn't appear to be the story was quite correct but that doesn't matter it's still a really cool piece it was a great surface great look so i think ultimately a very worthwhile trip but uh let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this video and you like following my antiques journey please hit like and subscribe and uh, follow me as i travel around the country trying to buy and sell antiques and make a living thanks for watching peace